I'm Michael from Messenger Bag Media, and today I'm going to show you several amazing time-saving keyboard shortcuts for Mac OS to help you save time and optimize your workflow. This is going to be a shorter video, and to keep it snappy, just like those shortcuts, let's get into it. When you want to insert emoji into a message or a document, at first it might not seem as easy as it is on an iPhone, but fear not. Just press either the function button on your keyboard to bring up the emoji picker, or you can also press control command space to bring up the picker as well. If you're in a real rush and you use certain emoji over and over again, you can also use the text replacement function. There are certain words that you use over and over, which may be particularly long or cumbersome to type out. This is where text replacement comes in handy. Go to System Settings, Keyboard, Text Replacements, and click on the plus button to add in your selection. I use this for easily being able to insert the TM icon, the copyright circle, registered R, and also for the classic pre-emoji, Shruggy. You can have entire sentences or phrases replaced with these simple commands, but just make sure that you're using a unique set of words or characters so that it doesn't automatically insert itself all the time. It's also a terrific way to fix any spelling mistakes you know you always make or if autocorrect is constantly changing something you don't want it to change. Every so often, you may be working with content in another language, and you need to properly insert an accented character. Stop Googling the accent and then copying and pasting it, and just hold down the letter key that you need. You'll be greeted to a series of various accents and the numbers corresponding to each. Just press the number on your keyboard, and you're good to go. If you want the capitalized version, just ensure you're holding down Shift beforehand, or you have Caps Lock on. When you're browsing your files in Finder or on your desktop and want to quickly read, watch, or view a document, just use Quick Look to save yourself the time of opening the application. Select the file and then press Space or Command Y to instantly bring up Quick Look. Sometimes you may encounter certain formatting issues, but when you're trying to distinguish from file to file, this is an absolute time saver. Press Space or Command Y again to close the Quick Look window. One of the keyboard shortcuts I use the most is paste without formatting. We all know Command V pastes, but what about those times when you're copying from one window or document into another only to have the typeface be different or it's a totally different size? Use Option Shift Command V to strip the text of all of its previous formatting and inherit the style of the document or app you're pasting into. This helps keep a uniform look to all your documents and is a huge time saver. When you want to take a screenshot or recording of the entire screen, use Command Shift 5. This brings up the ability to screenshot or record and even allows you to select a specific area. You can also choose to capture the entire screen or a selected window. Personally, if I need a quick screenshot, I opt for Command Shift 4. You'll notice your mouse cursor turns into a little reticle and you can drag to capture a screenshot of everything inside the bounding box. When you let go of your mouse, the screenshot is automatically taken. You then have a moment to either drag and drop into another application, or after a couple of seconds, it will automatically save to your desktop with the date and time in the name. If at any time you need to reset, just press Escape. As media professionals at Messenger Bag Media, we often find ourselves working with hundreds of files at once. Organizing these into folder systems can be a daunting task, and any time saved is much appreciated. To quickly create a folder within the Finder application, use the shortcut Shift-Command-N. This will create a new untitled folder and will save you the headache of trying to right-click in between your other files. To duplicate a file in Finder, use the shortcut Command-D. Duplicating files is helpful if you need to make changes to a document but still want to keep a backup. Sure, you could just right-click and hit Duplicate, but this shortcut will save you time in finding yourself duplicating files regularly like we do. Well, like I said, this video was pretty short, but hopefully very helpful. With these newfound MacBook skills, you're going to be a productivity master. This was a bit different from our other videos, but if you'd like to see more of this productivity-focused content, please let us know in the comments. 
If you're a media professional looking for tips and tricks to improve your photography, videography, and graphic design skills, check out our channel. If you like what you see, consider subscribing. Messenger Bag Media is your one-stop media shop. If you require professional graphic design, videography, photography, web design, or any other media services at an unbeatable price, visit messengerbagmedia.ca. Reach out to us and let's create something amazing together. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.